I've been getting asked a lot of questions lately about how to do responsive scaling and responsive positioning of elements inside of Animate CC. So I'm going to go over a few different approaches to this. And this is mostly in reference to people who are Edge Animate users. They want to know how to do some of the same stuff inside of Animate CC. So inside of Edge Animate, you can turn on responsive scaling for a project and set that either to height, width, or both. And what this is going to do is just scale everything using whatever aspect ratio uh, you desire here. So if I go ahead and test this, we can see that here indeed, everything is scaling appropriately. Uh, it's a responsive scaling mechanism inside of Edge Animate. So back over into Animate CC, what we have are three different examples. This first one I'm going to show, if we do Control Enter or Command Enter on a Mac, we can test this in the browser. And you see here that even if I resize everything, everything is scaling directly in proportion to the size of the container element, which in this case is the actual browser window itself. So here's some nice responsive scaling inside of Animate CC. And if we look on the timeline and open up our actions panel, how we've accomplished this is actually through quite a bit of code. Now, this code here I got from an example by Dave Gamez on Twitter. So definitely uh, check out his work. He does a lot of neat animation and graphic design stuff. So have a look at this. Um, you don't have to understand the code necessarily. Um, I'm actually going to have this big chunk of code on my blog as well as all three FLA files in the examples that you see in this video. So you don't really have to understand what's happening if you don't care about the code. If you do, it should be pretty easy to figure out what's going on. We're basically changing uh, different attributes of the container HTML itself and also changing the size and scale of our canvas element and its internals. And this all works on resize. So whenever anything's resized, this goes through and calculates that. If we look at my second example here, it's very similar. You'll notice in my actions panel here, it's not quite as robust. And the reason for that is because this example does not take into account the original aspect ratio. It only wants to fill up the entire parent element. So you see here, we get this distortion if we don't do it exactly right. However, sometimes you just want to be able to do that, right? So it's another example of something you could do in terms of making a responsively scaling Animate CC project. The third one is very different. This actually doesn't scale anything. Rather, what it does is it goes through and makes calculations to reposition all these elements based on the size of the stage. So let's go ahead and test this one out so you can see what it looks like. So here, the size of the actual browser window doesn't matter. And you'll notice that all of the different elements are all positioned exactly as they should be, four in each corner, and then one in the middle. You'll notice as well, if I go ahead and change the width and the height of this particular movie, that I can republish and automatically everything realigns itself. Let's have a look at the code. You'll see it's much simpler than that last example because all we're doing is changing the actual positions of each one of these particular movie clip symbol instances based on the canvas width and height, which particular corner we might want them in, etc. Now, if you wanted to get really fancy, of course, you could try to do this sort of manual positioning along with the stage scaling. Um, I haven't attempted that yet, but these three examples should get, uh, get you going in that regard. One other mechanism that is probably pretty useful for people who don't want to touch code whatsoever is the ability to actually scale content along with resizing the stage. So if you know that you want this particular piece to be a number of different sizes, you can actually tick that button, resize the stage, and you can see that Animate CC is going to go ahead and actually scale everything in proportion perfectly to how it was actually laid out uh, when you did the resizing of the stage. So that's another way you can do it and a much more graphical friendly way if that's the sort of thing that you're used to.
Now, as I mentioned, all three of these FLA files are going to be available for download on my weblog at inflagrantedelicto.memoryspiral.com. Also, I'll have this video posted there and some explanation uh, around AnimateCC versus EdgeAnimate and so forth. So I hope you found this very useful.